What's up everybody, my name is Perfix from Digital Empire Development and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a circular health bar in Unreal 4 in a purely blueprint and a material there will be no textures used. As you can see, as I'm shooting I'm losing health and the bar is decreasing in a counterclockwise manner. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, first of all, I'm using the first person blueprint template provided by Unreal and I've made a couple of easy changes to the first person character blueprint. Uh, basically I have made it, I have added health and max health, both of which are defaulted to 100, and I have made whenever I shoot it decreases my health value by 1. This is just for testing. Uh, obviously you would have your own health system sort of set up, and you would just go by that. So let's make a new material, and call it circle health bar mat. Okay, so over here, under Material Domain, change this to User Interface, Blend Mode, has to be masked, that's important. Uh, first thing you're going to want is a vector parameter, name it Color, and default it to, you know, whatever. I'll just use white so we can actually see it. Drag that into the final color, and now we're done with color. <clears throat> Alright, so we need a circle to work with. So let's get a radial gradient exponential. And now what we're going to do is hold one, click, make the value 5000 and drag it to our density. All right, hold one, click, make it 0.5, drag this to the radius. Duplicate this and change this to 0 0.45. Now this is going to control the thickness. The closer this number is to this number, the thinner your bar is going to be. So drag this out, subtract, subtract the inner circle from the outer. If you expand it, you'll see what we've created is this circle. All right, so now what we're going to want to do is take away the part of the circle that we don't want. So get a vector to radial value. All right, so we're going to want to get a texture coordinate. Subtract 0 0.5. And now we're going to want to multiply. Hold 2 on the keyboard, make this negative 2 and 2, and I'll explain that in a second, and drag that to the vector or UVs V2. Alright, when you have that set up, what we're going to want to do is get an add node, and add the vector converted to angle to a scalar parameter, defaulted to 0.1 for testing, and named decimal. This is going to determine how far around the circle should be filled in. Go ahead and add and you can expand that to sort of preview what that's doing. Now drag this out to a floor and now we're going to want to multiply our circle by this mask and drag that new multiply into the opacity mask. And you can see that this is about 10% full, which is what we set our decimal to. All right, now I said I would explain what this negative 2, 2 means. This is basically flipping the axis of this uh, gradient. So if we change this to like positive 2, for example, it's going to change what side uh, the circle begins and ends on. So right now it would be going around from the right. So as we increase in health, it's going to fill around this way. Uh, but I don't want that. I want it to be like this, where it's filling from the left and going around clockwise. Okay, now to implement it into your HUD. What you're going to want to do is uh, open up your HUD blueprint. Now, as again, I'm working with the first person blueprint template. It's right inside here, first person HUD. And when you open this up, this is what you're presented with. So what you're going to want to do is create dynamic material instance and search for your circle health bar mat. Drag out the execution wire. Now what you want to do is set the vector parameter value. This is where you'll choose your color. I'll make it a nice sort of pinky. And don't forget to name your parameter names. Now set scalar parameter value. This is going to be the decimal. Get a reference to your character. Make sure you cast it to the type of character you are using. Get your health and your max health, and divide them. This will now be your 
decimal that you'll apply to the health bar. And now what we'll want to do is draw material simple. And we're going to want to draw this material we've been working with. And we'll draw it at 100, 100, at a width and height of 100. Obviously, you would do this in a less silly place. Compile everything. Make sure you save this material. Go ahead and play. And there we go. As I shoot, I'm losing health going around clock, uh, counterclockwise, rather. Thank you all for watching. Again, my name is Apophix with Digital Empire Development. You can check us out by following the links on the screen or in the video description. And if you like what we're doing, consider supporting us on Patreon. It goes a long way. See you next time and have a great life.